Falling from heights is a common cause of injury and death in workplaces. Workers have been injured falling from portable and fixed ladders, roofs, scaffolding, mezzanine floors, platforms and elevated walkways. The sad part is, in most cases, these accidents could have been prevented by thorough planning where the risks associated with the job have been assessed and controlled before the work commences. Ensuring safe access and protection from falls. Using the right equipment for the job and making sure it is correctly assembled and maintained. Good housekeeping. Keeping the work area tidy and clear of obstacles. New laws require employers to identify all physical locations and tasks that might cause an employee or contractor to fall more than two metres. Where a task involving a fall hazard is identified, the employer must assess the risk of a fall occurring and put in place measures to control the risk. Where possible, the risk should be eliminated, but if this is not practicable, the risk must be reduced considering the following order of controls. Undertaking the work on the ground or a solid construction. Undertaking the work using a passive fall prevention device, for example, a temporary work platform or scaffold. Undertaking the work using a fall injury prevention system, for example, an elevating work platform, such as a scissor lift or cherry picker. If after considering all these control measures a risk remains, then undertaking the work from ladders or implementing administrative controls. Not all working at heights will involve a fall hazard of more than two metres, but a fall from less than two metres can still cause serious injury. So it's a good idea if you're required to work at heights below two metres that you still assess the risk of a fall occurring and put in place appropriate controls to reduce the risk. Where you're required to use ladders, you can assist in preventing accidents by choosing the correct ladder for the job, not using metal ladders near power lines, checking the ladder is well maintained, check for damage runs or cracks, cordoning off the area if there are pedestrians or traffic nearby, securing the head and base of the ladder or ensuring that someone is holding the base or locking the spreaders on a step ladder in position, making sure your footwear is suitable for climbing the ladder, using both hands to climb the ladder, tools can be passed up or carried in a belt, making sure the styles of the ladder extend at least one meter above the stepping off point and that there's a safe place to stand when stepping off the ladder. Where scaffolding is used, make sure that it conforms to any regulations or standards in its construction and installation. If mobile, that the wheels are locked prior to use. It is fitted with tow boards and guardrails. Work platforms are level and kept clear of obstructions. Correct footwear is worn. If involved in working on roofs, it is important to ensure that work can be done safely by using fall protection systems such as safety mesh, safety nets, guardrails or individual fall arrest systems. Using safe access to the work area for yourself and your tools and equipment. Following safe work procedures when working on fragile or asbestos cement roofs. Wearing suitable anti-slip footwear. Are you required to work at heights? Check the procedures in place in your workplace to prevent you from falling while carrying out this work. Find out what training and equipment will be provided to ensure your safety.